there, welcome back to the channel. We're here today at Southport Pleasureland. We're here today because we can bring the dog. You can see Barney in the background there. He's looking forward to his uh, day here at the theme park. We have been uh, given permission as well from the park to do some off-ride, on-ride footage. So we'll take the GoPro on a few rides and uh, have some fun. So let's see what we've got here at the park today. Time for another excellent question. Stick around till the end to find out if you've got the right answer. Now we're here on what looks like it's going to be a really quiet day at the park. I know it's the day before kids go back to school, the last day of the summer holidays, uh, and the weather doesn't look amazing, but very, very quiet here. Really surprised how quiet it is. Are you finding your first theme park, Barb? It's not the first, I've been to another. Oh yeah, it's not your first, this is your second now. He went to Wicksteed, didn't he? Transformers The Rise there. It's had a bit of a downgrade for the UK edition. Yeah, I think I prefer the, uh, the universal version of Transformers. There are a few coaster credits here, I think there's four in total. Last time I came, this was actually the uh, the place I did my first inversion in 20 years, and I was pretty proud. I will go on that one again later. Uh, it's only a kiddie one, but uh, I'm going to try and get on this caterpillar here. I'm not going to lie to you, uh, when we came, there were a couple of credits I didn't get last time, because we just didn't have time, and obviously with them being kiddie credits, you don't bother, don't bother trying to get them, but... Uh, I get this one. Like I said, we've got permission to do some on-ride footage, so we uh, might get a bit of on-ride footage of this as well. Uh, but this is the Pleasureland Caterpillar. So I just come off the uh, three lap special of the, uh, the the crazy caterpillar as it's called here at Southport. It was alright, kids ride, like I say, it's a new credit for me, but uh, not something I'd be going on again if I did come back. But uh, looks like there's a little photo point, you do, do go by, it takes a few photos of you, but it is closed today. Looks like it's a really quiet day. Car park had about four or five other cars, so uh, I don't know if it's the weather or because it's close to going back to school, but uh, yeah, not many people here at all. Did you miss me, Barney? Did you miss me? No, not really. I'm going to find a drink now. Pretty thirsty. Uh -huh. Barney, we brought his drink, so he hasn't got to worry about being thirsty, have you, mate? That, waffles, pancakes, pasta, food. No advertisement to drink that. What do you think? Uh, try that then. There's a lot of arcadey stuff around here as well, isn't there? Let me just quickly talk about pricing. It's a single wrist rider wristband, £29.50. That's unlimited rides here. There are a few kids' rides dotted about as well. If you're under 90 centimetres, £15. 
they've got family tickets as well because it is a perfect place really to take your family it's right next to the beach so if you are down south port it's definitely worth checking out make our way over to the ghost train it's not naughty just loves people make our way over to the ghost train i do love we can bring our dog to the theme park more theme parks in the uk should allow dogs once we're in that pool Likes pool, doesn't he? The rocket over there, some dodgems. Wouldn't be a fair without uh, Dumbo or Jumbo, as I uh, think this one's called. No, it's Dumbo. He's put some weight on from his Disney years. He's put a lot of weight on, he's just like me now. Really is Jumbo. Time for the ghost train. So that was the uh, ghost train here at Southport Pleasureland, or as I like to call it, the Halloween section at B&M. That was terrible. 
Only look this way. This way. So nosy. So we're going to try something a little bit different now, aren't we, Linz? Yeah. We're going to try Barney Cam yes, through the maze. Shape. Which way are we going then? Through this maze bar. That's a wall. With his sniffing skills, we should be able to find the exit rather quick. Oh, yeah. That's where he's trained to sniff out mazes. He's trained to sniff out mazes, yes, you're right. Or I don't nice think that's spots, the probably. way, mate. Then this way. Yeah, right. Uh, this is a wrong way, bar. Dead end, mate. Sorry, dead end. It's been a dead end. Dead end. This is most definitely the dead end. That's not the way. Let's turn around then. Turn around this way. That's for it. Now, what's the mummy? This way, no, this way. I'm sure it's this way, Bob. Well, this way. Yes, no. Oh, now you got tangled. Now we're tangled. Come on, this way. This way, mate. We'll find a way out. Yeah. Now we're going to have to go this way. This way. Yeah, this way. Yeah, this way. Yeah, this way. Do you know what? You've only gone and done it, Bob. You've only cracked the mystery. What a clever boy. You're a clever boy, you. So, Barney, what did you think of the maze? Did you like it? Yeah, it's rubbish. No, it was, wasn't hard enough for me. It was too clever. Been watch. So I put Pledge Land in. Oh, it's a good log flume there. I'll have to give that a go before we go. We know you don't like water rides, but uh, I love a good water ride. Now, just one of the things I wanted to pick up on the 1st of October, doing a Day of the Dead festival here. Park's open till late night. You can book tickets online now as well, which are really reasonably priced. I'm going to hop over here now on the Waltzers. So let's get on them. See what they're like.
again? Piece of ride there on the waltzers. Let's see what else we've got around here. One of the things I've noticed about this park, there's a lot of random theming just dotted about everywhere. I know I normally moan about parks having a lack of theming, but I think this is just too random and there's just too much random stuff everywhere. I'm going to try Christmas the Ride, I think, here. I don't think it's officially called Christmas the Ride, but it looks very festive. Because uh, you're never too far away from Christmas, are you? Let's be honest. We're nearly at spooky season. And just after spooky season, you've got uh, Christmas. So let's go do Christmas the Ride. Or, as it's officially called, Snow Jets. Let's go. Really is so quiet on park today. I've just done snow jets three times in a row, and the ride up did say, "Oh, do you want to stay on for a fourth? But be honest, three is plenty on that one, though. Keep off the dinosaurs, they buy. Now there are quite a lot of fun fair basic rides here. This frisbee though does look pretty impressive. I might try and get on that in a bit. I'm going to try and get all the coaster credits first. Like I said, it's a really quiet day today, so can't see any reason why we can't get on everything. So there it is, the uh, first inversion on a coaster I did in 20 years. It's got me back in kind of going back on inversion coasters, something I never kind of thought I would do. So like last time we came here, I was with the nephew and niece and they, uh, they were desperate to do this ride. Um, one wasn't quite tall enough to go on alone, so let's come on with them. So I've just done two rides on the uh, roller coaster there, the one with the inversion. It's all right at the front, at the back it's a bit rough. Um, but like I say, it was the first ever inverter I'd done after 20 years since Nemesis. So it means a lot to me that one. It's nice to get back on it. Don't think I'm doing it again anytime soon though.
trying to pick up on the random theming so it's nice that this has got theming in this theme park you know you go to a lot of the smaller parks and there's no theme but dotted around just got some really random bits and pieces you've got like a dinosaur's head there some skulls and giant no no bones but there's nothing dinosaur around no dinosaur themed attractions there's also a lot of uh, closed rides as well it's like there's another ghost train there so all that building there in the background is either just looks like some kind of shop, but like, it'd be a wine and spirits, but that's strange. So there's a whole other section of the park around here where I get me other credit for the day. Like I say, normally there are four, but one of them is closed at the moment. The uh, the rocket, which was new last year, broke down. Uh, it was in the newspaper. There was kind of like a bit of a situation, and people were kind of stuck, but. Uh, not not open at the moment sadly but we'll go on this one here get that other credit and a few other bits and pieces around there so the other section of the park now a few other rides a few flats and a little family coaster here i've actually got this credit so we're gonna get on this one next i think here we go So I've just come off the Grand Canyon coaster and we're going to go over to this one here, see if we can get some ride footage of this frog hopper. on this frog hopper here not as good as the uh, one we did at fancy island the site isn't quite as good typical gopro died halfway through as well sod's law says that does it every time the things I just wanted to quickly point out again some more really random really really random theming just, just a pirate ship there it's nothing kind of pirate themed no pirate ships or anything like that around here but there is pirate ship there. I'm gonna take on this uh, spinny one here, a bit like spin jam at uh, on the towers. I think next.
them barn. Let's see. Uh, let's see what other rides there are. I've got to be honest, I didn't feel very safe on the last one. Touchums? So this here is the rocket, this is the other roller coaster. So like I said before, this was in the, uh, in the sun the other week, I think it was two weeks ago. Um, there was an accident and people got stuck on the ride up at the top. Reading kind of the, the news story, you'd think it was like getting stuck in Nemesis or something like that, not on a little coaster like this, because they made out like it was danger to human life and they were stuck upside down for four or five hours, but uh, you know what the news is like. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the roller coaster where uh, he got stuck. It looks like it's closed because of that, uh, so it's not a coaster credit we'll be getting today. I've ridden it before. It's not the nicest of coasters anyway, but it's one of the major ones at this park. So on the outside, there are a couple of other attractions. You've got a big wheel there, a miniature railway, and a, a kid's helter skelter there by the look of it. There isn't a lot actually out here, a little carousel. Um, don't know why they can't really try and get it inside the actual park itself, but uh, I don't make the rules, do I? So this is the new Viking Golf area they opened this year. Looks really good actually. We're not going to do it today, but let's have a look at it. So I put some real effort into this. All two. Looks like it's a big one as well. I'm not quite sure how many holes it's got, but Looks really well themed, to be fair. That's as far as I can go without kind of paying to do it today, but it does look really good. I do love a good themed golf. So that's uh, Viking Golf here at Southport. Looks like they're improving the whole area because it looks like we're getting a, a Viking restaurant as well, the Longhouse restaurant, Lincoln Smoked, coming soon. So yeah, that'd be nice. Looks like they are interested in developing the area. I think there's a new coaster coming as well inside the actual park. So that draws an end to another day here at Southport Pleasureland. We've done those four coaster credits, well three because the, the rocket was closed. And got some on-ride footage of some of the other uh, fairground style attractions. Not the best of parks, it's a nice little seaside area if you are here on holiday, but probably not worth the visit. What do you think? It's desolate and I won't be coming back. No, no, I don't think we'd be coming back anytime soon. I said I come back last time we came, yeah, here I am. Well, we needed to get those credits and we've done them now. So, uh, did hear rumours that there was a big a big investment coming, a big coaster, but I don't know where they'd stick it. I mean, there doesn't seem like there's room for anything big. In the sea, that's where I'd stick the rest of it. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for making it all the way to the end, and we'll hatch you again soon. And the answer is... How did you get on? Let me know in the comments below.